Hi guys, in this Blender tutorial I'm going to show you some tips and tricks about selection of objects and polygons. Let's start with a selection of polygons that have a special material assigned. Here we have our room model with three different materials. Select one here in the material tab and press select to select all polygons for which this material is assigned. I often use this feature to select the polygons of a material and then I press H to hide them. Also for the wallpaper, select, press H and the geometry is hidden. Then you can press the Alt H keys to let the geometry reappear. Another great feature is to invert the selection you made. Here the stairs isn't selected, then I press Ctrl I to invert the selection and now only the stairs are selected. Then I press H to hide them and Alt H to make them visible again. And here is the lasso selection, a really nice selection method. I switch to left orthogonal view, deselect everything by pressing the A key and then I hold the Ctrl key pressed and draw with the left mouse button a selection and all the covered parts are selected. But I think for this part it would have been easier to use box selection. Again, I switch to orthogonal view, deselect everything, then I press the B key and draw this rectangle here and everything that is covered by this rectangle is selected. Okay, this one is really cool. We are limiting the selection to the visible parts. Again, I use box selection and draw this selection here and you can see only the faces of the view plane are selected. But when I deselect this little icon here, which means that I don't limit the selection to the visible parts, all the faces behind this clipping plane or this view plane are selected. And this is a selection method that I really like. It is called the circular selection and you get it by pressing the C key. For example here we have edge selection enabled, I press C key and while holding my left mouse button down and hovering over the edges they get selected. The same is of course true when I switch to face selection mode and hover here over the faces. To apply the selection and close the circular mode just press the enter key. The size of this circle can be changed by using the mouse wheel. Okay, last but definitely not least is the selection of objects that are hidden in the viewport. For example, you have a view like that and you want to select the window but it is hidden by this table. Then you hold the Alt key pressed and press the right mouse button and then this select menu will appear and you can choose which object you want to select. Here, the table all the room. A great feature when the objects are hidden, for example from this point of view, press the Alt key, hold the right mouse button and every object that is behind your mouse cursor can be selected by choosing it from this menu. Okay, that's it. I hope you like these tips and tricks and if you do, please hit the like button and subscribe. And it would also be amazing if you could support me on my Patreon so that I have more time to create tutorials like that. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon on JNM.